it's Amy. Amy's a little bit of everything. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Justin, silk floppers, fishy lips, butterfly. If you did that with me, you are young at heart. If you're not young at heart, go ahead and fast forward. We're only here for a little while, so it don't bother me any, and it won't bother you any, so all right. I'm a little bit goofy, and it is what it is, and you get what you see, so there you go. <laughs> All right, I got another Timu haul today, and my phone is about to die, so I'm hoping it doesn't die on me while I do the video. So let's get started. Oh, shoot, I was going to put my new earrings in. Hold on, let me take these out. If it does die, I'll put you on pause, and we'll just start back up when I get more. See if I can do these. If I cough... I'm not sick. I just have my lung disease. Okay, got that one. And, um, ow. And I, um, did that one hook. And I just, um, get real short of breath. And this cold weather, I don't know, my hair is going all over the place. You guys said you wanted to see it fixed. You got it. <laughs> But I got my earrings in. I love these guys. Cute, cute, cute. And I didn't think I would. Okay, now this is a lot of rugs. Valentine rugs. Because I'm ready to get my house cleaned up so I can get my Valentine stuff out and ready to go. Of course, the ones I have are underneath here. Okay, so these are two for one, which I love it. And these were, now these were a little bit, the ones that I'm getting ready to show you. They were $14.79. You know, if I paid $14.79 for two rugs, I really wanted them, which is, and it's not even a bad price. That's a good deal. But me, I'm a little frugal, so I like to get mine a little cheaper. But anyways, I really like these. So, um, I got a, it's a two piece and I will show it to you. And I'm getting ready to do my house over. And you guys, I love these, their rugs. They're so soft. They're nice to stand on. They're not too thick. I don't like them too thick because I like to throw mine in the wash. So I wash and dry. And this is a nice size. So I got, it came in this size. Plus this real big long one. <laughs> and I don't think it says anything. It's just X and O's and loves. But I just thought this print was adorable. Same thing. And it's got the slip resistant on the back. You can't beat the rugs. They are nice. Now, I get a cup. I got several rugs because I like to put one at the front door, one at the back door. And then right here along my kitchen, I like to put, I can put at least one, two, three, maybe three. And then I like to put one at the sliding glass door. So the big long one will take up about two that I would normally put there. But I do get several of them. And then I place them throughout the house. I do my rugs. I can't do the dishcloths hanging on the dishcloths. Bear's already tearing them down. But rugs, he doesn't seem to bother. So I got those. And then I got this one. This was just a one rugger. And I just love the red truck. And it says... All you need is love. Yeah, I should have known that. I was singing, all you need is love. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Okay, I know I'm not a singer, so yeah. But that's that. And same thing on the back. And like I said, I like this kind of rug because it's easy to wash and dry. And that one was $3.00. $3.84. I mean, really, guys, you can't beat it. Okay. Oh, and then, oh, yeah, I got another set. <laughs> I was like, no way. Okay, now this one was $11.98, and this says Valentine's Day. It's got the red truck, and like I said, by the time I put them in the front door, the back door, a couple in the kitchen, and then I might put the long one in my laundry room because I got, I'll have an extra one of this. So I put one, the long one in my kitchen. I might put one in the laundry room. So, but yeah, so that takes care of all my um, rugs and I'm done. And then I got this one little comb. <laughs> it was 78 cents. So I must have got it. I always like to have these because I like to stick them in my hair like that. Okay. But anyways, and I like those combs. I always wear them. So, but my hair is always crazy. Okay. So that takes care of that. 
And then, oh wow, I'm going right through this one. This one's not gonna be very long at all. Okay, and then I got these cute little keychains. I'm only ordering like one or two at a time. They were only a dollar twenty-six. And I think I'm gonna give them like um like when people in my family have birthdays, give them this. And it will have their initial on it with my little bee theme and a little honey. Honeycomb or honeycomb, yeah. And then the little bee. I don't know if you can see that. And then the little but I thought I was gonna start out with A, B, C. Well, the A's and the B's were already out. So I went ahead and got the D. So but and it was a dollar twenty-six. So I'm just gonna start getting them. And to me, I like to give a little something in somebody's birthday card because it just kind of gives them that extra something. But if you can't, that's fine. Just send a card. But um, I just thought the B theme is me and it'll have their initial on it. And I just thought this will be so perfect. That'd be perfect little gift. So I love doing that for people. That's just part of being me. Oh, and I got this headband. This headband was $1.79. And it has my bees all around it. And this is like velour. Yeah, velour. And I was going to, it's just so that you guys know how it fits. Oh, it's a good fit. Yeah, I really like that fit. Let me see. Oh, how cute. Can you see the bees? There you go. I love headbands. I get away from them for a while. I might just leave that in for a little bit. But yeah, can you see the bees? And the bees are nice. And for $1.79, it's a vintage velvet head hoop metal bee decor. Headband. Okay, now these next earrings I got for $0.33. Cents. They are a tiny, delicate, round with bow design. I was, maybe they're not. I thought maybe these were, first of all, um wreaths that I ordered them like they come out as a Christmas but they're not calling them a wreath so I guess I could wear these anytime but aren't they pretty and they call them delicate bows um tiny delicate hollow round with a bow design stud earring yeah it doesn't say anything because when I first got it I thought it was a Christmas earring I was like oh I'll put these back but yeah they're not they're just a cute little and they have a really nice back. They got that round back on it, which is really nice. And 33 cents. And I think I've already got um, 10 cents um, adjustment on these. Um, I showed those one earrings. Oh, I can't remember how long ago. And I've already got so many adjustments on it. It's like I paid 10 cents for them. So before you know it, these will probably be free. But yeah, they're not um, wreaths. I thought they were. Okay, then I got this. This is so pretty. I think this is an ankle bracelet. Yep, it's an anklet. Um, it's an elegant, random collar, faux crystal inlay chain anklet. Love heart ankle bracelet. 57 cents. But look how pretty they are, guys. And they've got greens and blues and reds. Oh, I just think these are so pretty. And there's, oh, there's a diamond one blue and red and green. I just think that'll be the prettiest ankle bracelet. I saw that and I was like, 57 cents? Yeah, I'll do that. Because sometimes in the summer you forget about it and you might wear it out swimming or wear it and you're sweaty. And if it, you know, discolors or something, 57 cents? What the heck? Um, let me just put this on my wrist for a second, see if I can wear it. Ow. Hold on. My hands are not working today. Um, yeah, you could. You're going to have a lot. Well, I guess that won't be too big. Hold on. I don't know if I can hook it. Oh, let's see. Let's see what the hands can do or what the hands can't do. Oh, I guess you could wear it as a bracelet. It's got a lot of hang, you know, hang down, but you could take some of these links out. Um, but it's not too big. I mean, it's kind of pretty as a bracelet. It's kind of simple. Oh, I may get another one. See if I can get another one. If it's 57 cents, I don't want to pay any more for it. But I love the little hearts. I think they're adorable. But yeah, on the ankle, these are going to be really cute too. So I don't know. I might grab me up another one. Then I'll have a set like wear an ankle, ankle and wrist. 
my wrists are bigger. I've got a lot of arthritis and swelling in mine, so I could get by with this. If you have a smaller wrist, you may not be able to get by with that, guys. So, Okay, and then I got a waterproof business backpack. This is men's category, $6.24, which I got, I think I got this on a lightning deal. This was way more expensive than this, and it doesn't tell me my orig or the original price, but um, yeah, I think I got this on a lightning deal. It's waterproof, and I am a backpack person, like say if we happen to go to the farmer's market, or I know we're gonna do like, um, like, you know, more, oop, my phone is about to die, um, do more like um, going out, walking around shopping. I might take something like this because you can, it's got this zipper here, and this is a real pocket. This is a real pocket. You can put your phone and stuff in there, phone and wallet. Um, and it's got nice pads. These are padded. Uh, let's see, is that everything on the outside? It's got a place for your water bottle. Can you see that right there? And then we open this up. Oh, and I guess... Oh. Hold on. Yeah, it's me. I was like, why would it open on one side unless I got the zipper stuck? Oh no, come on, don't get stuck. There we go. And then it opens up. Oh wow, it's got a padding in here to where you could put like a... It'd have to be like an iPad. I don't know if a small laptop would fit in there. I don't know, it might. But it's all padded. See the inside? This is all padding. So you could put an iPad in there or put some more delicate items in there. Um, it's got one of those where you can plug your phone in. And, yeah, and I don't usually get any more bags, but it's waterproof. I like the waterproof. Is that a pocket there? No. Um, I like the waterproof. Um, you know, just in case you're going out and about and you don't really want to take a purse. Or, like I said, you're going to the farmer's market or you're going to, like, a fall festival or spring and summer festival. You can take this little backpack and you just hook it up. It's adjustable to size. You can even grab it. It's got a handle right here. Um, I just saw this, and when I saw, and I think it has reflectors on it. Let me see if it says. It does say 15.6 inch laptop backpack, large capacity. And I think, I'm not really for sure, but I think these light up. Like at night, they were reflectors. And this might be a reflector here too. But so, you know, if I was going to carry this, say like you're going to a festival or something, then I would probably put my purse, my inhaler, anything that's valuable right in here. Then make sure you zip it so nobody can get in it. And then, or you could even make it harder and put it in there. Oh, in here. But, and then I would leave all this inside. Unless you think somebody would open that. I don't know. I always feel somebody could sneak in there. But I would feel that. And I'm going to have it up on my back. They're going to have to go. <laughs> oh, Amy, you crack yourself up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you see this? This would be on my back. Someone would have to really be stuck in their arm in there. <laughs> and granted, I'm not very tall, but I'm not that short either. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I would do. And then I would leave this part open for... Um, you know, like stuff that you might pick up, small gifts and that. You could even put, if you're going to be out and about, you could even put a sandwich back here in this part if you're not going to use it as a laptop. But I'm just saying, you know, and you might be a kid if you're going to be a kid and carry it. Um, oh, it's got one zipper. I was thinking it had two zippers on it. Um, and if you're going to be a kid and carry it to school, this would be a pers uh, perfect... It keeps getting hung up right here, and I don't know why. Oh, must have been me. But if you're a kid, this would be perfect. I might even ask Jace if he wants it. It's all black. Um, kind of simple. He has kind of his school bag that he carries. But what I liked about it is waterproof. Um, you could also carry it to the pool. Put your pool stuff in there. Um, somebody would have to work to unzip it and, you know, get your money or your phone out if you left that in there. 
but it's waterproof. You could, you know, it wouldn't get wet if you took it to the pool. But like I said, for six bucks, I didn't pass it up. I was just like, that's not bad at all. But anyways, and it's got that charger port where you could, you know, hook up to your earbuds and everything. I've never done that. I think that's what it is. I'm really not for sure. If I'm not right, let me know, guys. But I think that's what it is. But anyways, I was pretty satisfied with it. So, But um, I'm going to get busy and start working on the house. Get all my Valentine decorations out. Um, I don't, I can't do much because with our dog, um, I have dishcloths, I have pot holders, I don't do like a lot, but, um, I do like the rugs and the stuff like that, and I always put my dishcloths out, and my little doilies, but I really can't do that anymore, like that little table over there, we had to clear it all off, and I always put my doilies on it, and then my decorations, but with Bear, we just can't do that this year, so, I'm just going to clean them off and just leave them bare, bare, plain. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he's pretty much taking the run of the house. He's doing better, and he, he is, but he's a pup. But we forget he's a pup because he's so big and so massive that I'm like, why ain't he getting this? And Jeff looks at me, and he's like, because he's, like, four months old. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's it, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. And my little dog, Cujo. Cujie. Cujie, want a treat? Nothing. He is wiped up there. He's right there. Let me see. Cujie. Cujie, want a treat? Want bone bone? Want go outside? Want some milk? Nothing nothing from him oh and he had the i don't know if you guys knew on my last video he had a swollen eye well it was actually the right eye it was huge well he finally he bust or he, i think he did it with his paw but um it cut and it bled and it did get smaller then so i don't know if it was filled with blood um but we've been giving him antibiotics because the, te the teacher i can't talk today guys the vet thanks um, it was a tooth infection because he's been losing some teeth. He's getting older. and Oh, oh my little cooey. I need you, cooey. Um, but, uh, but so he's going to go to the vet and have a dental procedure done to see if he has any bad teeth. And if there's any bad teeth, they're going to have to remove it because there's nothing else they can do. Um, but we've been giving him soft foods and I've been babying him. So he hasn't been babied since we've got Bear because he used to be, I mean, he's babied. He's not getting mistreated at all. But um, here lately since the vet said that and I gave him the antibiotic and I've been giving him soft food. And the other day he was like chewing, trying to chew on one of Bear's bones that he left behind. And he was like, <laughs> with the one little tooth he has on this one side. And oh, it just breaks my heart. But I'll keep feeding him soft food. And he loves milk. He's drank milk ever since he's been a baby. And... I asked the vet one time, I was like, is that bad for him? He's like, well, has he been sick? Does he make him have diarrhea or anything? And I'm like, no, he's perfectly fine. And he's like a cat. He loves it. And um, he said, well, if he drinks it, give it to him. So I'm going to give him his milk and his soft food as long as I can. And he's fine. He's He plays and he's fine, but I just worry about him. But yeah, he's asleep. He's getting his sleep in before Bear gets back. But, okay, guys, put a smile on your face. Put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation. Who wouldn't want a better place where we have smiles and little puppy dogs named Cujo? Losing a teeth or two. Or losing a tooth or two. <laughs> That's a hard one to say. I can't talk today anyways, guys. All right. I hope I made you smile and I hope I made you happy because it is a blast doing this and I appreciate everything. And if you can share, comment subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. And if I get to 2,000, I'm going to have a major a drawing, um, a giveaway. But, um, and I'm trying to still learn how to do the giveaway. I'm slowly learning. So I think by the time I get to 2,000, because I know I will, I will have a big old drawing and we'll see who wins. Yay. Oh, and also you guys can go to Facebook. I set me up Amy's little bit of everything and I'm going to start posting pictures and I'd love to do it daily, but guys, and I 
wish I could tell you I would do it daily, but I don't know if I can get to it daily. So far, I posted nothing. <laughs> but go over there and like and subscribe on my Facebook because that's how for right now, that's the only way I know how to get your address for the giveaway. So that way, if you are a winner, then you can get on my Facebook m my Messenger and say, you know, like, um, I'm, I'm the one that you mentioned for the drawing or, you know, something like that. Whatever it will be. I don't know what it'll be yet. But that's the only way I knew how to do it for right now. You would think I've been doing this for a little bit. I, but I'm not, I'm not computer savvy and phone savvy and all this browse and paste and post and... I mean, I'm old. I never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> But I'm having the time of my life, and I've never felt better. Well, besides my lung disease, but hey, we're getting past that. We're going hard for 2024. We're going to make it a good year, and we are zooming right along. All right, guys, keep the prayers coming for my sister Ellen and her husband George because they're still getting over their COVID. They're feeling a little bit better, and they can feel your prayers, so keep them coming. And I know God will do his thing. He always provides. Just remember that. God always provides. It may not be the way we want it, but he will take care of us. All right, guys, have a blessed day and until next video. Bye.